All right. We're talking America's freedom, baby. Welcome to the land of the free, the boys, girls, and babies, and the start of our hot girl summer. We're talking Memorial Day. Put a hot dog in your butt. So what is Memorial Day? Well, it's a federal holiday observed in the United States on the last Monday of May each year. It's a day of remembrance and tribute to the men, women, and babies who have died in the military service of this country. Now, how did the holiday begin? I'm going to tell you. So the holiday actually goes all the way back to the Civil War. Right after the Civil War ended, it was there to commemorate the Union and Confederate soldiers who died in the conflict. So it actually came out of a pretty dark time in American history, and they said, you know what? We killed a lot of each other. More Americans died in the Civil War than all other wars America has fought in combined. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. So that's where Memorial Day came out of. They said, let's try to make bygones be bygones, and let's just have a day where we commemorate each other. We all killed each other. It was nasty, but you know what? We're a family here. Let's just move on. And then a lot of communities and cities in the U.S. started having these commemorative events to honor fallen soldiers, decorate their graves with flowers, and just really remember the people who died for us, for our freedom. Chicken Fried, Zach Brown Band. That's a good song about freedom. So when was the first ever Memorial Day? Well, I'll tell you. It was actually called Decoration Day, and it took place May 30th, 1868, at Arlington National Cemetery in Arlington, Virginia. Um, and it was a good day. Probably hot as fuck back then. Everybody had swamp pants. It didn't matter if it was the middle of the winter. You had swamp pants. A lot of people were wearing cotton pants. Memorial Day, it became an occasion to remember all military personnel who died in service, not just those from the Civil War. They expanded it. Anybody, if you died in any war fighting for this beautiful red, white, and blue country, then you were observed on Memorial Day. It didn't matter if you were the War of 1812, the Revolutionary War, uh, the Spanish-American War, anything. As long as the war was fought... In America, as long as the war was fought by Americans, you got honored. And it was officially designated as Memorial Day. So that's the thing. The term Memorial Day, the it only came in 1971. So like my mom and dad grew up, they were 25, 30 years old before they even knew it was Memorial Day. My mom's going to get mad because she's not that old. But I'm not good at math. Came a federal holiday observed on the last Monday in May. So that's a good day. The last Monday in May is a good day, okay? Everybody's off. You get to eat hot dogs. It's usually pretty nice weather. Nobody has school. The only thing is the banks are closed, and I need my money to invest it, by the way. And this isn't always practiced, and I want to see you guys go out there today and do this. The National Moment of Remembrance was established, so all it's encouraged for all Americans to pause for a minute of silence at 3 p.m. on Memorial Day to remember the fallen, and I don't see enough of you people doing that, Okay. I'm on TikTok, and at 3 o'clock, you guys are butt-chugging beers at your barbecue. Butt-chug the beers at 3.01. Now, many people visit cemeteries and memorials on Memorial Day to pay their respect to the fallen soldiers, place flowers. That's a good time to go visit Grandpa if he died in the war. If, even if he was a soldier that fought in the war, go visit him on Memorial Day. He's waiting for you, okay? He's waiting for you. Just try, if you're dating, just here's the thing. If you're going to go visit Grandpa in the cemetery... On Memorial Day, it's a little disrespectful if your girlfriend or boyfriend is of the culture that he fought against. So you don't want to be, if he's a World War II vet, if you have a Japanese or German boyfriend or girlfriend, I wouldn't bring them that to the cemetery on Memorial Day because he's like, that's the enemy. I, you know, So just be mindful of that. Blue Chew. Blue Chew. Blue Chew. This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Let's talk about sex. Summer is around the corner, and summer gets sexy and steamy. And you're going to want a rockin' hard cock. And how you're going to get that is Blue Chew, baby. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra, all three of my exes, but in <laughs> chewable tablets and a fraction of the cost. The best part about this, it's all done online. No visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, no waiting in line at the pharmacy. Blue Chew tablets, they're made in the United States like this jacket, and they're sent right to your door, all done online. It's discreet, it's beautiful, I like it, comes in simple packaging. Blue Chew is awesome, and Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex. Discover your options at bluechew.com, chew it up, and do it, and baby, we've got a nice discount for you. Try Blue Chew free, 
free when you go to bluechew.com. Put in that promo code Chris Therese. You just pay the five dollars shipping. That's all they're asking. Pay the five dollars shipping. Put in the promo code Chris Therese. at bluechew.com. You get Blue Chew for free. Bang. Bluechew.com for more safety, for more details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. I am rock hard. The red poppy flower, which has nothing to do with heroin, has become a symbol of remembrance for Memorial Day, inspired by the famous World War I poem in Flanders Fields, which is a very, very good poem. Take an ice bath and put on Flanders Field and try not to get hard. It is very difficult. Listen, if you're going to go on Memorial Day to go visit your grandpa in the cemetery, go ahead, do it. But you got to understand that it's really disrespectful if your boyfriend or girlfriend or husband or wife is from the culture that your grandpa fought against. Just don't bring them for that day, okay? If American Revolutionary War, if your grandpa fought in that, don't show up with any British red coat pieces of shit. War of 1812. No French, no French, no British, okay? We're not dealing with them. Indian Wars, no Indians, even though Indian Native American are beautiful people, they cannot come. Mexican War, no, okay? Not today, Jose. Civil War, you better not just, actually, Civil War, if your grandpa fought in the Civil War and he fought for the North, if he fought for the North, don't bring the South. If he fought for the South, don't bring the North. That's how it is. Spanish-American War, even though it's difficult for me to say, you can't bring any Spanish people, which is going to be difficult for me because then I guess I can't visit my grandpa because I'm always around Spanish people. And Spanish-American War, that's how we got Puerto Rico, so shout out. World War I, World War I, no Germans, no Germans, World War I, World War II, no Germans, no Japanese. We don't want to see them just for that day if grandpa fought in the war. Vietnam War, no Vietnamese. Um, Afghanistan War, Iraq War, no Middle Eastern people, even though they are beautiful people. I don't, I, unfortunately, that's not the time to watch Mo Ammer's show, Mo. I don't want to watch, even though he's from Palestine. Uh, you can't watch it that day. Um, and yeah, and then, you know, right now, um, if, you're, if your grandpa has just recently died, I would just, I, it feels like we might get in war with China and Russia. So I would just, you know, just, for, just don't bring him to the cemetery. They can wait in the car. Just don't bring him to the cemetery. That's all. In closing, I want to say thank you so much, soldiers, for not only dying for us to preserve our freedom, but also giving me a three-day weekend. I'm going to get drunk. Shout out wars. Shout out the fallen. Shout out freedom. Thank you, my brothers, sisters, and neighbors, for protecting and preserving freedom. Now go get yourself a cold one. Put on Zach Brown Band chicken fried. Get on your red, white, and blue panties and jump in the pool. Yesterday was history. Listen, as always, yesterday was history, but I need you to go subscribe to the Chris D Comedy YouTube. Hit subscribe, hit like on these videos, share them, okay? It literally is so important. If you like this video, share it with your friends and family. It helps the channel grow so much, you know, by helping me, I help you. It's all a beautiful thing. We're helping each other. It's like we're giving each other, you know, we're giving each other hand jobs on the internet, and it's nice, and it's safe, and it's free. Like and subscribe to the Christie Comedy YouTube. Tell your friends about Christie's. Christie's, we're really trying to grow this. Um, so I really, I'm hoping you're enjoying it. Um, so let us know. Always comment on, you know, leave comments. Let us know what other Christie's you want to see. Um, if you want to see me live on the road, go to ChrisDComedy.com. I have all my stand-up dates up there. Um, we have Radio City in New York on September 22nd, sold out. So we added September 23rd, the theater at Madison Square Garden. There's still some tickets left for that. And we're going to put a big fall tour on sale in a couple of weeks here. Um, so keep checking ChrisDComedy.com to see if your city is there. And go to Patreon.com slash ChrisDComedy where I have hours of footage and podcasts that only exist there. And that's where a lot of the fun happens. And you can have an opportunity to ask me a question. Um, and then call our hotline. We're going to put our number right here for you can call our hotline and you can leave a voicemail and we will answer it on the Chrissy Chaos Show, whether it be on the Patreon or the YouTube. It's there for you, baby. So I appreciate all the support. Appreciate you liking and subscribing. I love you. And if I see you in the street, I'll kiss you on the lips. Mm-hmm. <laughs>